Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, obtain uh, the log rank test in order to compare two groups in terms of their survivor functions. Um, in uh, my previous video I kind of went through and showed you how to um, establish that you're working with survival data. Um, so you have to do that first before you uh, carry out any kind of survival analyses. The program won't recognize anything after that, so you have to make sure that you've done that. So uh, basically, you know, just kind of uh, a little bit of a recap. Uh, what I did was kind of go through the survival analysis, set up the utilities, declare data as survival data. We had a time variable. The failure variable is, is reflecting the censoring variable, which in our case was the event variable. And then we established, you know, the value of one for the data set uh, was reflecting the terminal event, which in our case was um, relapse. And then a value of zero is essentially indicating that a case has been censored. So we had to do that first. And then, um, you know, I kind of walked through uh, several steps too. Uh, we also kind of looked at some, uh, you know, identified the median survival time in terms of the number of weeks until relapse for uh, relapse for the detox and treatment groups and then also generated uh, Kaplan-Meier survival curve. So just taking a quick look at that, um, you know, uh, just as a, a bit of a recap again, uh, all we did was we went through graphs, Kaplan-Meier survivor function. Uh, we have essentially clicked on this and then our, our grouping variable, which happens to be named group, uh, was established and then we just clicked on OK and there, there it is. Uh, if we wanted to, uh, you know, generate this just using syntax, we would just type in STS graph, comma, phi, and then the name of the grouping variable in parenthesis, and it will do exactly the same thing. So we can type that into the command line. line. Okay, so the um, log rank tests uh, to test for equality of the uh, survivor functions, we can do this in, you know, either through the menu option or through syntax. So I'll start with the menu option. Just go to survival analysis, go down to uh, summary statistics, tests, and tables, and then go down to test equality of survivor functions. And then uh, when you go down here, you know, basically uh, you just click this little um, drop down and then you select the uh, variable that you want to work with. The default is log rank, so we're just going to stick with that and uh, click on OK. And so now you can see that we have a chi-square test. Uh, so this right here, this is the chi-square value and the p-value uh, that's printed out. So, you know, using uh, kind of the, um, uh, using uh, conventional alpha at 0.05, um, our p-value is definitely greater than 0.05. So we would infer that, uh, that uh, our survivor functions are equal. So the null hypothesis is equality and the alternative hypothesis is lack of equality. So essentially, if, if this is indicating that uh, we have non-significance, we would be uh, interpreting that to mean that the survivor functions are not equal uh, between the two groups.